going to go back in time okay. and bring us up to date as far as uh, a lot of people may have heard snippets of yes. the about how the YOC started or they may just, oh, I just know the building was there and Brenda was in there and she yeah. was doing stuff with the kids and yeah. here we are. But tell us how this originated. It originated back in 1980. Or they may just, oh, I just know the building was there. Oh, he started. Or they may just, oh, I just know the building was there and Brenda was in there and she yeah. was doing stuff with the kids and yeah. here we are. But tell us how this originated. It originated back in 1987. I had a desire to create an organization where we can serve our youth in the fine, fine arts arena. The parent company of YOC is Wichita Falls Art, Entertainment, and Culture created in 1987 and what we did was go into already existing youth organizations mm -hmm. and we started bands, choirs, orchestras, theater art groups, all of those fine arts because we realized that the young people in Wichita Falls East were missing out on some of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. So in 1993 I approached the senior junior forum who actually built the facility to ask them if we could lease it. Mm -hmm. I started out with leasing and the officials told me if I raised enough money that it's possible that we could lease it. So what I did went out into the neighborhood with a brown paper bag actually literally, you, literally, literally you brown, paper bag, brown paper bag and raised the down payment and I took it to the senior juniors and then they were amazed that I did raise that funding and they donated that facility 401 Madison where we currently are to our organization. Look at God. I'm, Look at I'm him, still on the, well, you have <laughs> brown paper I went into the bag. neighborhood and raised the money. Something, Pennies, something. coins, and when they donated it to us, I knew I was in a zone with the Almighty. Mm -hmm. I knew then. Now, it hasn't been all easy. Yeah. But, the, but the initial favor of God the, that's right. in seeing your works go forth and what you do and, and, and the people seeing, you know what, this, this person is serious. Yes. And a lot of times if we don't, when we start something, oh, I want to do this, and then, you know, it falls by the wayside. Right, right. But this is a task that you took on by yourself. Right. I just don't believe in give, giving up. I mean, when you give up, you give up. That's right. That's so right. you don't give up, and there's going to be trials, tribulations, uh, mm -hmm. obstacles, and that's the nature of life. That's right. So we got the facility. Thus, mm -hmm. 1994, that's how YLC was born. We had a place, so we created it, the same programs, mm -hmm. at the Youth Opportunity Center. Mm -hmm. That's how we started. Now, now I'm going to say this. Some people are like, oh, God, here she goes. You know what? But you <laughs> know what? Let's, let's go, go with, with the flow. Let's do we, this. We know, and, and, and we've seen in the news as well as on television. You've gone through a lot of changes, mm -hmm. a lot of different things, mm -hmm. but but that's why I wanted to go back to the history to the beginning. So you'll be like, wait a minute, now I see why. Mm -hmm. Now I know why mm -hmm. she was so adamant. Mm -hmm. She was so, um, so hardcore on this or so hardcore on doing that it, because of the passion, the passion within. Is there. And there. it wasn't for you. No, absolutely. During 1994, we really had a very bad gang problem mm -hmm. and where we're located we were right in the center in the middle of some of the gangs and some of them were opposing each other mm -hmm. what we did was embrace the young people we didn't tell them not to spray paint mm -hmm. we told them to spray paint with permission mm -hmm. so we would do things out of the box to hook the young people those young people that most residents don't mm -hmm. want around them mm -hmm. I want them because they're God's children yeah. too. And my job is to kind of touch that. Mm -hmm. And we use the arts. I, I believe I can change the world through the arts. Mm -hmm. We allowed them to spray paint. We got um, some businesses to give them permission. They actually got paid and they were actually painting during the daylight hours, which was totally different. You know, when they sneak at night, oh, yeah. it's different. Oh yeah, behind doors, Absolutely. And under the dark, and everything like that. Absolutely, And uh, one little story ca comes to mind is, while we were painting during the daylight hours, the young, the young men were painting, and then a police car passed by. They literally dropped the cans and started running. And I'm saying, hey babies. <laughs> It's legal. You have permission. You have permission to do this. You had to change that mind, change. that concept now, in their mind. You have hit it on the head right there, the nail on the head. YOC is about changing the perception. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Because we know what God has given us, all of those marvelous attributes. And if we don't have it, it's something that we're doing wrong right. that we have to change the way we're thinking. So that's what we do. We really try to change the perspective, mm -hmm. that negative behavior, put a little sugar in it and turn it into lemonade. And that, that's the Bible says you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. And this is one area we know the word is that main transformation. But when you apply practical application and their practical application was the art. Form. That's right. And you never know, like you say, you never know what is within a person no. until they're allowed to express it. Absolutely. Uh, one of our main foundations mm -hmm. is that everybody is born with talents, mm -hmm. all of us. And when you allow people, particularly young people, to use their God-given innate talents, they kind of like themselves more. Oh, yeah. And they like their neighbors a little feel, bit more. They feel a little proud. That's right. Proud we, of themselves. We have seen that uh, time and time again. So YOC is really focusing on the foundation is the arts mm -hmm. because it is rooted in divinity. I am convinced. God, give you a voice, sing it, or you're going to lose it. God, give you were born with a spray can paint. Just get permission. <laughs> you know, even if you were born with a wrench or a mechanic uh -huh. in your soul, mm -hmm. That's what we do. We have had every program you can imagine at one time at YOC, mm -hmm. from tap, ballet, to mechanical, um, uh, auto mechanics, mm -hmm. uh, electrical wiring. And I think that will be, be good to bring back. Now, now on, on the screen, you're seeing some of the talents, some of the classes that are being brought back in to focus into mm -hmm. play. And I know these are um, considered right now, some of them summer, and then some of them are yearly. That's right. But also, um, and one I want to focus in on is the Butterfly Cafe. Butterfly Cafe is a program that really my best friend and I talked about it two and a half years ago. We talked about what if there's a place that women can come and feel encouraged, mm -hmm. where women can come and be uh, feel good about themselves. Uh, one of our little slogans is be purposeful as a butterfly. We need to know we have a purpose. Definitely. There's a reason why we're on this earth. That's right. Okay. You need to know that you, the way you are, you are beautiful. The way God made you, you're beautiful. And you are spiritually free. And also, as we talked before the cameras were rolling, mm -hmm. we need to learn to eat like a butterfly, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. That, that transformation. That transformation. And, and I think um, with the Butterfly Cafe, of course, there are different activities that right. go on there to, and, and, and like you said, encourage you, inspire mm -hmm. you, but also inform you. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, a lot of times um, things happen in our lives where we can't, everyone can't pay the $35 for the pedicure. Yes, we know. Everyone can't pay, you know, this, this, this well, to know, have this. That's, that's so interesting. That's, that's why I'm here mm -hmm. is for the masses that seem to be left out of mm -hmm. the, the mainstream, so mm -hmm. to speak. Well, and I'm going to change that because well, you, we, we, think, um, we think it's left out and to others it may seem left out. But see how God always provides. Always. Always That's provides. That's exactly Never what I'm talking forgotten, about. forgotten, not forsaken. And this is a $5 remembrance. Well, this, we just had it um, Tuesday, the mm -hmm. 29th. It was held at Skin Essentials on 1501 Midwestern Parkway. We've decided to take it on the road to, to different presenters to promote them and their business at the same so time. So they're giving and you're and giving. And they're receiving. And also it, the uh, proceeds, most of the proceeds mm -hmm. goes back to the YOC to so help mm -hmm. fund mm -hmm. these programs. And right. we want to thank um, Don. I cannot pronounce her last name. Robert Doe. Oh, okay. Thank you, Robert Doe. Uh -huh. Thank you, <laughs> Don. And also my Arbonne mom, Sandra, Sandra Lee, Lee, for assisting as well as the other individuals. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone wants to take part, we haven't given, we gave you location in the history, but yes. we haven't given it again and the phone number. If someone wants to take part in this uh, Butterfly Cafe, meaning they have something that they would like to share with other women, and uh, it is culturally known now that these metro men, and, and I'm not talking about funny men, I'm mm -hmm. just going to set that straight. Okay. I'm talking about these men who they like to pamper themselves. Well, you know, they I, I, I always believe that we are equal. <laughs> and then there were times when we were told things that we're learning that's yeah, not true. Definitely. And that that's was the same. Said. Thank you. Thank you. And that's the same with our men. Yes, ma'am. And they were taught to be rough mm -hmm. and they're not supposed yeah. to cry. Yeah. But oh no. Oh no. They want to be pampered and pampered and loved too and told that they look well. That's right. That's, that's so right. it's equal. So if you if someone has something that they would like to share. 
they would like to and, and they would like to end the sharing realize they're giving back to the community mm -hmm. I, I know it's um in it, it was originally the classes or the B butterfly spa started off at the YLC yes. but as you said it's taken it its is. own traveling way